Shalom friends, Rabbi Kukerkorn here to talk about this Parsha. This Parsha is Behar. And it brings an interesting question because it talks about the Shemitah, it talks about all kinds of economical matters. And you have to ask yourself, is Judaism, the Torah, socialist or capitalist? It's interesting because evidently people who hate us, if they're capitalists, they'll say Jews are an element of socialism in the world and they want to destroy the world, look at Karl Marx. If uh, they are on the right, they say, uh, well, and if they are on the left, they say, look, Jews are capitalists, look how Jews have the, the Rothschilds, the, the banking system. It's true that the Rothschilds did something, at least that was very interesting, which were multinational banks and checks. They invented the check. But the truth is, Jews have done for both sides. I don't think Judaism as a, as a whole has, uh, the Jews as a group have a stance. But the question is, what does our tradition say? It's interesting, because our tradition, we learn from this week, something very interesting. We learn about, uh, it's in Leviticus chapter 25th. We learn about the, the Shnat Shemitah, the, the, the sabbatical year, where the land goes fallow. And then after seven times, seven years, you learn about the Yovel. The Yovel is the Jubilee. And it's interesting that during the Jubilee, all land would go back to its original possessions, to the original donors, which means you couldn't sell your property forever. The maximum you could do is sell to somebody the property for a period of time from now until the next Jubilee. And that way, preventing people from being totally impoverished. And I think this is an interesting idea, idea evidently that is replicated in the prophets, that, for instance, uh, um, talk, many talk about people adding house to house and land to land, becoming so rich. The biblical idea would prevent that. The biblical idea would prevent people from some having all the wealth and some having no wealth whatsoever. And so, so I guess if I had to take a side, I would say that the Bible clearly has some uh, socialistic leanings. But if I had to say, above anything else, what the Torah is, is humanist, because it's concerned with people. And I think that is the approach we need to take. We need to be concerned with our fellow human beings, because ultimately, even as capitalists, which is a system that we have and that I favor, our property is never safe unless other people have as well. Think about the French Revolution. If we live, or how life is in, in the third world. If you live in a, a place where you have everything and nobody else has anything, you, you, need, you end up living in jail surrounded by your possessions and guards and stuff like that. Something to think about. Shabbat Shalom. Hope to see you. Temple Israel. Bye-bye.